morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It's flipping freezing. It was minus two out there this morning when Lee went to work. Um, the storage heater downstairs has been on for about a week now because I did feel that the weather was on the turn. So I've I've turned that on already with the view that it was going to burn off the, um, the dust and stuff that sits on a storage heater. And then just now I've turned on our little electric heater that's on the wall in the bedroom to do the same thing because it gets really smelly when it's not been used for months on end and also the storage heater at the top of the stairs we only have three heaters in this house um I've got laundry to put on only a couple of bits the house is actually pretty clean I mean you know you can see most of it that the rest of the house is like that I did the bathroom Saturday night um so I'm going to put some clothes on and a jumper to warm myself up um, I'm going to sit on the bed with the dogs and I'm going to start going through my list of things that I need to get done, doctor's appointments and things that I need to rebook, all those kind of things that just haven't yet been done. And the other thing I need to do later on is clean the sheep out, but I'll do that this afternoon once I've picked Kenzie up from school. And I also need to uh, kind of look at the coursework I've got for this next assignment. Again, it's more of just making slides and project type stuff for sharing information. It's not really that complex, I don't think. From what I've just given it a cursory glance, I don't think it's gonna take me too long. Um, the longest part will probably be trying to work out the iPad. Because that, you know, took me two hours to do a Word document the other day. Um, this is going to require a cup of tea, isn't it? And the other thing I'm going to do is put these dishes away, which is just out of sight. Let me show you. So I do have a few things that I need to put away. Oh, that's Kenzie's iced coffee maker. That is meant to go on, on there. Have we run out of space or is he, does he keep it somewhere else? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to start putting these things away in the cupboards and make that cup of tea. The Christmas cake finished cooking last night it was the first time I've done it in the halogen air fryer thing and it did take quite a long time I had it on a low heat for a good hour and a half or so and then I had it on a higher heat and it just caught the top of it but it doesn't seem too dry and it is going to have a load of um, brandy poured over it over the next month or so it doesn't want to come out unfortunate that's come out okay so that's more the color that it is I think oh, maybe it is a bit dry did I cook it too long now that it's Hold on. yeah it does look a bit dry in there maybe I'd cooked it too long that's brandy in there I'm hoping the fact it's been stored in a plastic thing is not going to be much of an issue yeah that is feeling I left it in too long too dry can I save this cake I mean we'll eat it regardless but now what I need to do I think is just put a load of brandy in it because brandy will fix everything right Brandy juices. Ooh. I found a Mrs. Crimble's. That's mine. It's that cold. I've gone for a fluffy jumper and I got my fluffy socks out for the first time since spring. Oh, they're a bit short actually. I remember now why, yeah, they shrunk a bit in the washing machine. No, tumble dry. Right, let's get on with some paperwork. Yeah, I'm not sure how much work I'm going to get done with these two nudging me and climbing on me. You like my fluffy blanket, don't you? You've got a thing about my fluffy blanket. Thanks. Did you just lick the camera? Timmy kisses. I have been a bit slack on something I was meant to be doing for a friend's birthday. Um, it's part of uh, a little thing that um, one of the friend group is organising and I haven't 
yet done it so I have remembered now I've done it and I'm going to get that off into the post um, hopefully I've not, not missed the deadline and I'm going to clean out Nagini is the other thing while I was at the pet shop the other day I picked up fresh um, sort of substrate for her I have realised now that I don't have any black bin bags which is incredibly unhelpful Although thinking about it, I could get a trug, couldn't I? It's all wood chips, so I could get a trug from the shed rather than using a plastic bag, and then I could put it in the brown compost bin. That would be more eco-friendly, would it not? Right, I'm going to do that, I think. The dogs can come out for a wee as well. I'm going to make a cup of tea. So the thing is, I've got up now to make a cup of tea and to do that thing that I was doing, and what's happened is I'm now moving around down here doing things. But that's probably good for the brain, isn't it? Because, like I said, I'm in the process of doing an assessment. Assignment, not an assessment. So my brain needs to have breaks. Study breaks. I'll redo the waters as well while I'm here. Ah, you know what? I did wonder how long it would take before the uh, geese attacked that little plant. I might need to put something over it to give it a little bit of a starting chance. I've given that broccoli to them if they want to eat it, but they're not keen on brassicas. And that pond has now got so many holes in it, I'm going to have to reline it. One of the projects, though, that we're working on up at Utalk is that we're going to get an aviary built so these girls can actually move up onto the farm without getting eaten by foxes and having a proper pond built as well. So I need to do a little bit of research into what is needed. I mean, Rob will dig the hole with his tractor but like how much liners are and rocks and that kind of stuff so and a filter like a pump as well that we can have like a filter so I think I probably need to have a chat with my dad about that um because I know he's set up filters in the past using like a big bucket and like a filter material and pumps and what have you to go through so that it can kind of keep the water flowing and oxygenated and cleaner i mean you know it's going to be a goose pond so it's going to get dirty but i think we're going to move the ducks up there as well as long as the geese and ducks get on okay right, there's a new substrate and i need the scoop which is here in fact i use a dustpan and brush as well and it's likely that i'll get the hoover out to get into all the little nooks and crannies So I'm rummaging around thinking, do you know what, I think I've lost the snake. I need to try and retrieve the snake. Oh, she's kind of got her tail wrapped around everything. Right, thank you. People haven't seen Nagini in a while. She's got quite big, haven't you? The big girl. The dogs, I've never seen her out. What's that? They've both been very interested in what was occurring. Hmm, what is this? This is not for you. This is not a toy. I know what you'd do. You'd try and rag her. She's my pet. Right, she's safely locked back in her vivarium. Now I've got to clear up this mess. This is actually Jackie's trug. I got it out to give to her last time she was over and then we still forgot to take it at the end of the evening. Um, and I've not used up all the substrate, so that's good. There's a bit there for doing sort of top-ups, pick-outs and top-ups. Um, I've moved things around a little bit, so it'll be a little bit more interesting just because it's not where everything was before. So she can have a bit of an explore in there. And this is where all the holes are now. And there's holes over there so it doesn't really get any higher than that now which isn't great but they've obviously got sharp, sharp claws on the end of their webbed feet and this is very old so i'm going to have to redo it i'll put another bowl in there since the pond keeps going down there you go girls better you've just been in there haven't you
You were eating up rubbishy post, weren't you? You were eating up the rubbishy post? I need some lunch. I've picked Kenzie up from school and I've managed to sit in a queue for the doctors to make an appointment. I had an appointment with them for a couple of weeks time with a nurse and that's been cancelled. I had a message to say it's been cancelled. So I had to ring up to rebook. And then she spoke to a doctor and said, no, that really I should see a doctor. And then she was like, okay, I'm struggling to get you in before November. Um, and she was trying very hard, bless you. You could see the only date that she might have been able to do anything was this week. And we had actually got a booking in a care home. And it's a two-person job. And there's no way I could let Emma down on that. So... Um, yes, so it's not going to be till the beginning of November now, but it's only a few weeks away. Um, before I get very comfy, though, back into coursework and stuff like that, what I've decided to do is come up and feed the sheep because it is now nearly, it's about half past three. Oh, rabbits! Sorry, I've just gone completely sidetracked. There was two of them. Two rabbits, little wild rabbits. Well, I say little, they're actually quite big totally through that was a real squirrel moment that was i don't know where the other one's gone but there was two of them hopping around anyway as i was saying i am up here now going to do the stables and let the dogs have a run around and then i'm going to a friend who sadly has lost her dog um passed away quite suddenly but she's got some dog bits for me to take so i'll pick those up on my way home now i also want to say a big thank you to two people there was one that said that and i don't I can't remember if I thanked this person or not, but I did see the message and it could have been one of those things in my menopausal brain that I actually forgot to thank them, which is terrible. But on the Buy Me A Coffee app, an anonymous person has given me money towards the bill for Spog and I've got a vague memory that I might have thanked people, but if I haven't, I want to say thank you to whoever it was who bought me five coffees, the equivalent of five coffees, which I think is about £25, um, to put towards towards my spog bill so thank you so much that was incredibly generous i certainly don't expect anything from anybody but that has helped a lot and somebody else also has bought me um done the buy me a coffee app as well and they've said buy a ducky woodlouse which i would love to buy a ducky woodlouse and again it's an anonymous one so i've messaged back saying thank you very much ideally you need about 10 duckies to start a ducky colony i think one might be a bit lonely so i found somewhere that sells them potentially for 15 pounds each that's a lot of money for a woodlouse isn't it but i'm strangely drawn to having a small colony i need to really investigate it something to do with limestone helps them because otherwise what happens is you get a colony started and then the colony collapses and it's you know it's they're, they're not being kept right so i want to make sure i do it properly and um yeah maybe save up and get maybe a couple and hopefully they'll breed we'll have to see but it does seem like a lot of money but somebody sent me money for a ducky woodlouse so thank you whoever that was that is my first bit of savings towards a ducky woodlouse oh no that looks like it's flooded a bit with the rain we had the other night i'm going to draw some of this out and put it in the other area ew 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 i have taken all of the manky stuff up i haven't gone delving too far into there but i have taken a lot of the manky stuff up what we need is for the next time one of these bales is delivered that it gets put on one of these and pushed in on that which i believe is what's meant to happen but it hasn't happened the thing is the water just runs in and then the bottom half is wasted so we end up wasting a significant amount more than we'd like to anyone know where the football is football anyone no do we not know hi hello gorgeous all right ziggy hello all right we'll go and find the balls they're down in the stinging nettles do you not do that on purpose i think they do so i have to go rummaging Thankfully, I did get rid of a lot of stinging nettles. So it's not, not very bad at all. Yeah, this was knee deep at one point. Oh, you found it. Well done. Good boy, Timmy. Something is digging in and out here. Badger, maybe. I suspect it's probably a badger. Oh, careful. I suspect it's probably a badger. Could be a fox.
These guys are actually blocking my way. Could I get through, please? Hiya, Maggie. Hello. You right, Hope? And Pearl. I'm trying to get your food. Everybody's happy. Having a spot of tea. This is why they're so happy. They haven't got the space to do this at ours. But they come up here and they just go absolutely loopy. Stable, cleaned. I'm gonna have a very muddy dog because Timmy's decided to dig a hole. Haven't you, Timmy? So I'm gonna have a muddy car at the end of this or a muddy van. Where's Luke gone? Oh. Here he comes. I just ended up tidying up this room a bit. I mean, it could do with being a lot tidier, uh, but yeah all looking for one package which is here this is the package we were looking for i'm gonna go and put that in the other room where i know where it will be my phone's on nine percent i look like a complete ragamuffin look at the state of me i need to wash my hair I need to get these dogs home hopefully timmy's feet are mm, yeah not really i might get the brush on those quickly and brush the mud off um but yeah we're all ready for work tomorrow Turn time to this wheelbarrow. Thank you. It's nearly six o'clock and I'm now home as you can see. I have a few things still left to do on my list. I've had a shower because I stunk like a sheep. Well, that's not holding. Let's just put you back there. Um, I've got apples here that I picked up from Damon's Field like weeks ago when I went camping. And I'm aware that they're going to go pretty yucky if I don't start using them. In fact, some of them might have already gone a bit yucky. So I need to see what I can salvage. I'm going to do, I was going to do a crumble, but I do want to chill out tonight at some point. So I'm just going to do stewed apple with some sugar in it because these are cooking apples, I think. So they might be a bit bitter. And the other thing I've bought is some pre-made salads. Um, they're good for another two days. I was going to decant them into other pots and use them for the rest of the week. I'm still going to have to do that. I'm going to decant them into another pot, maybe get three days out of these, although I'm not sure date-wise I've got enough time. And then I can add things like coleslaw and potato salad to it as well. Um, and then I'll eat better at work because otherwise I'll just pick on stuff that I shouldn't. It's a rather knobbly one. Sit. Sit. What are you doing to him? I saw this little Christmas hat on there. Oh, Link's got Christmas hat. No. No. Not impressed with it. I'll eat it though. Yum, yum. Timmy wants a Christmas hat. You're going to argue over a Christmas hat now. It might be like that this year, you know. We're all a bit broke. Might have to make Christmas hats out of bits of cardboard that we find from food wrappers. So with three for now, I have three days of work. Hopefully it will last. Although I might have more salad than, well I could have a bit of salad now, couldn't I? Potato salad. A bit of coleslaw. Love these little things. They're super tasty. The protein in there. Um, one for now. Let's put some onions in the salad. Put the pepper. Stack 
those up. One for each day of work. That's now cooked down, so I'm going to leave that to cool off. And then I can put it into individual portions. That looks like it's got a crack in it. Oh, well, it certainly has a crack in it now. The other thing we have is a client coming tomorrow, Joseph, actually. Um, and we were going to make some Herbie nonsense together because he was talking about uh, neem leaves. I can't remember what we were discussing about them now. But I thought if I take a whole bunch of my bits with me, then we can make something up and we can make a balm. Actually, this is now ready. I should strain this because that vodka should be well and truly done by now. And this needs straining as well. Absolutely should be ready because I did that a good couple of months ago now. I'm going to take some olive oil and a selection of my ingredients and we'll see what he wants to make. And I'll talk to him about the properties of each one. And then he can decide what he puts in them and we'll make a balm in about we worked out we've got enough time between now and christmas for it to do what it needs to do and to sit in the liquid and to infuse and then um towards the end we can do the melting of the wax and turn the stuff into nice little balms that he can either give us gifts, christmas gifts or we can yeah you know we can use himself or what have you so it was something a bit different following his interests and what have you. I've realised I don't have enough jars. Um, so I haven't got a spare jar for doing Joseph's mixture. So what I'm going to do is strain this out into a jug and then pour it into bottles. Now the bottles I've got here are ones my sister gave me and I'm just going to, I'm washing them out with some soapy water. And then I'm going to use some boiling water just to sterilise them a little bit. And then I'll pour it into those. If I remember right, because it was so long ago, this was to make a sort of winter tincture. Uh, I think it was for like, well, looking at cornflour and wood betony, I would say that I was trying to achieve something that stopped you getting uh, wintry colds or helped to reduce the idea of wintry colds. So some sort of uh, healing properties with the wood betony in things like uh, sinuses and uh, cornflour is general kind of oh wood betony is anti-inflammatory as well isn't it and cornflour is particularly good for the digestive system so i think it was an all-round winter warmer wow i hope that tastes as good as it smells that's got like a real alcohol floral kick to it i've got the draining sieve here um, and then i've got the gauze here and that should stop as much of the um bits floral bits from falling into the final straining if you see what i mean so kind of going through two strainings i'll push that down as well i think to get some of the juice out as much of the goodness out as possible. Look at that. That looks like a a tea, a black tea. Let's see. Spoonful of medicine. Not driving anywhere, so. Wow. It does taste like it smells. It's got a real kick to it. We'll see how that goes, shall we? Wow, that's strong. I'm feeling really autumny. Now I've been dealing with my herby nonsense and I'm eating lovely apple that has been stewed. These are really good apples as well. Only put a little bit of sugar in with them. Damon, I approve of your apples. So Kenzie's going to make me this chocolate, hot chocolate pudding. It's one of the freebies he got from work. 
Mmm, biscuit crumbs. So yeah, that's he's putting them in and he's having the apple and blackberry, is it? Apple and blackberry crumble? And there's another one that I might try. I think his probably serves two. In fact, they both serve two, apparently, Kenzie. Well, maybe we should have half each. Yeah. Yeah, should we do half each? I've got double pudding going on thanks to Kenzie's freebies from work. And we're watching some ghosty program. It's nine o'clock. I've just realised I have not finished my video. So I want to say thank you very much for watching, you lovely lot. And I will see you all tomorrow.